And the problem is where to start learning web design. There's just so many resources. You'll be drowning in tutorial hell. And in this video series, you will learn how to design a modern website in Figma. And I'm Roy, a UI and web designer based in the UK. And why should you listen to me? Well, I've been lucky enough to be in the industry for 10 years and I'm still learning and growing because there's always new tools and trends and problems to solve and learn. I'm lucky enough to still be in the game and hopefully you can get in the industry too. And what makes me different, I also do HTML and CSS so I have an understanding going from design to code. So the brief is to design a website for beginners who want to learn web design. And the problem is where to start learning web design. There's just so many resources. You'll be drowning in tutorial hell. We want to help users get out of this craziness tutorialness. We already have so many distractions out there. We have YouTube. We have the Figma community. We have Webflow. We have CSS. Centering a dish. Should designers code? So we want to solve this problem by creating a very simple website for beginners. And to guide them and to show them the way of the force. Why use Figma? It is free and also it has a very diverse and engaging community. And the bonus challenge is if you can come up with your own font set and also use a different name. You don't have to use Ready Play. You don't have to use Ready Designer One for Pete's sake. You can use your own name or you can come up with your own project name. This could be fictional and this could be for your portfolio. Okay, so I'm just going to show you all the assets in here and we have the body font and the logo font and as you can see this was designed by a wonderful designer his name is called Roy Gilor and he is based in the UK so without further ado we have this wonderful logo set and the font is called Lot. Now my co-founder who is an absolute pain in the backside prefers to have the wide fonts with the inter font for the body. She prefers it to be a lot cleaner whereas I prefer the mono font because I think that fits with the audience. And then for the bonus challenge if you can create your own set for the logo and body font we would like to see you go a bit creative, have a bit of flair, make it different and not forgetting the three principles that the design should be based on is design, fun and clean. So this design blog has been around for yonks but you can see the design it is simple, it is fun and also it is clean. This is a wonderful website and let's just have a look at this NFT. So here it goes into the dark mode and as you can see here it's just absolutely clean and simple the content is king it is beautiful and in terms of the menu here we have that on the left side we have a wonderful designer based in the UK wow so many great designers in the UK his name is Olier and he's an entrepreneur designer so here is a wonderful design again the inspiration you can see this really nice font wide font looking for the logo and if we scroll down, you can see again, there's a beautiful look on the content. Content is king. It's gone dark mode. This again brings attention to the content. And then if we're going to look into the blog, here it goes to light mode. And perhaps he's gone to light mode because it may be easier to read from dark to white. So this is something to consider in the brief. And last but not least is brianlovin.com and this is his personal portfolio website which I think is absolutely smashing and one area I would like you to pay attention to is the writing area and this is very similar to the email layout. If I click on here you can see the side project prophecy. So this again feels very much like email layout or even a startup app layout. You even have a sign in and whatever the sign in is let's just have a look. He has a login page I mean that is amazing. So I have provided you with three awesome references. Make me proud. 
I look forward to seeing the concepts you come up with and the deadline is to do it as fast as you can. Let's grab all the inspiration that the client was talking about. So I'm just going to take pictures and let's go back to Olia's. Look at this, amazing. So here we're just going through the different sites and we're getting the inspiration. It seems to go from dark to light. If we go to the home page, you can see here it is going from dark to light. So I'm going to put these into Figma. And a really neat way to arrange them is actually to select all shift A and just have a gap of let's say 100 pixels. Shift A puts it into an auto layout and here you can organize it nicely. So here we can see different styles and I'm going to take a few more snapshots. So if we go into this one, you can just see how beautiful this is. So again, I'm just going to take loads of different snapshots because the client showed these and is a very good idea to use these as inspiration and again if you notice with Olia he he goes from dark to light which is very interesting so again I'm going to take a snapshot and one of the reasons why is because sometimes it's a lot easier to read from with dark on light so this could be a very interesting challenge Okay, so I'm just going to put more of these in inspirations into Figma. Okay, so I've got the, all of these into Figma. And what, and what we can see from these is now we have the inspiration. Now we need to make this our own and try to get different pieces of the inspiration. So what we noticed is on the home page, there is the dark version and this is maybe to help the content stand out but then maybe what we can think of is if you actually click on one of these uh, articles the actual content page or the article page will be a light mode so therefore it'll be easier to read so I think that would be pretty nice and in terms of the the assets the client hasn't given us much so what we're going to do is get a bit creative and see how we can make assets from the logo. So what we're going to do is we're going to start exploring some design. And again, what we're going to do, we are going to use the Abazid. We're going to use the Abazido. So I'm just going to paste that there. Okay, so we are going to break this down. We are going to create the side menu. And we can use auto layout to create it. And we can think of these as cards. So let's get right into it. So if we hit the T, click, and we just say nav item one. And we are going to use IBM Plex Mono as set in the brief. We're going to make it 18 with a font weight of medium. And the line height, we can just say 24. So I'm going to convert this into an auto layout. So shift A and the spacing, I'm going to put 16 on the left and the right. Again, we're using the eight point grid system. And here I'm going to hit enter to go into the text layer and make sure it is fill container. And this will make sure that is nice and fluid. Now I'm going to call this nav item. And then I'm going to convert this into a component. So command OK. And now I want to create instances, which is a fancy word for copy. So command D and then shift and just drag down. And now I'm going to command D another five times. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to click on there and then shift to hold down and then click on the last one and convert this into an auto layout. So shift A. So now we have a very simple menu. And we can even call this nav. And then what we're going to do as well is here we have 
you can kind of think of it as the footer area or the copyright area. So just as an example, we are going to command D again. We're going to drag that down. And we are going to just say copyright 2022. We're going to make this a lot smaller. Let's just say 14 and regular. So now what we want to do is combine them. But what we, of course, what we shouldn't forget is the branding. So if we go to assets and again, you can pick the one you're going to go for or even create your own set so that you can make this project truly unique to you. And I think in terms of the branding, I really do like this one here. So let's just get that one. So command C and we go back to design and command V. So here we're just going to bring this down. This one, we can just rename that to brand. And what we're going to do now is we're going to combine all of these. But the first ones we want to combine are these two. So shift A. Oops. So what we want to combine first is the nav and the brand. So shift A. And the spacing between those could be 24. This is something we can experiment with. And here we want to make the spacing uh, a bit better. So we we'll say on the left it will be 16. And on the right it will also be 16. But saying that, let's make it 24 from the top. And let's say 24 on the bottom. Now I could remove that. So now we're starting to build our side menu. And then what we can do to make it a bit easier is let's currently just fill this with white. So now we have a nice side menu and we can start to improve the spacing a bit more. So we could, we could say, we could just say 24 all around. And here we can go into our main master component and I can say 24 on the left and the right. So this is looking pretty good. And then the last one is the copy footer. So here I'm just going to fill that with white as well. So now what we have to do is combine these. So here I'm going to select both shift A. And now what we want to do is make sure this is space between. So now what will happen is no matter what height you have it at, it will always be nice and fluid. So that is pretty sweet. And then we can give this a feel of white. Here I think we can actually be a bit more generous with the spacing. So let's say 24 all around. So now you can see we have a very simple side menu. Great. Now what we want to do is think about cards. So I'm just going to randomly think of a, a, a size. So hit the F key. Just draw a random size. And here I'm going to start using some of the fonts. So they have numbers on here. We are obviously trying to teach beginners about design. So you could start at number one. So I'm going to hit the T tool. And here I'm just going to put one. And then I'm going to choose the lot. And we're going to go nice and big. Let's say 96. Or well, let's go even bigger. Or even bigger. Nice. So that is nice and big. We're going to say auto on there. And can we center this in there? There we go. So this is just an example. And we can also have a title in here as well. So the first thing they're going to learn about, it could be about the five. Oop. So let's make this smaller. Let's say IBM. And let's make that 24. And let's say semi bold. So here we're going to say five W's and one H, which is which is what I've explained in previous videos. Uh, so it's the what, the why, the where, the when, the how. It's very important to learn. So 
I'm going to put these in. So we have a title, we have the number, we're actually going to combine these, so shift A, and we're just going to put it in the center. And now the problem is with this one, this has got quite a big spacing. So we are going to reduce this down. So let's say 192. Okay. And then we're just going to align these in the middle. And the reason why we're using numbers is because we can be inspired by these, but rather have it on the top left because we don't have any assets or content to play with. Let's use the logo, the shape and the font as an inspiration. So this is obviously very simple. But what we're going to do eventually is trying to make these even more unique and fun. So I'm just going to rename this. Um, actually, we might not even need. Hmm. So I'm going to rename this to card. And I'm also going to put this into an auto layout. So shift A. And the spacing around, I'm just going to say, let's say 80 pixels all around. And I want it to align in the middle. So obviously this is not perfect because of the line height here. So if I go 288, you can see it does get a bit crazy. So again, I'll just go back to 192. And obviously it's not perfect. So we'll find a way to sort it out. So again, you don't have to worry about being perfect. This is a card. So if I play around like that, and let's just say, for now, we can say 100. And we can say around, actually, let's go 96. And then let's say 40. So maybe there's a bit more even. So this is a card that we have that's going to represent these cards. Now, what we're going to do is make this into a component. So Command, Alt, and K. So now we've got a nav item. And now we have a card. So what we can do is Command D, Shift, and drag that down. And then I'm going to do this again. So that's the second card, Shift it out. And this is going to be number two. And what are they going to learn? I would recommend going for type. That could be typography. We're going to Command D. And here we're going to say number three. And we are going to learn about, let's say, color. Okay, and you get the idea. Here we got number four, and this is going to be about spacing. Now, this is just some guesses on the content, but here we got some really nice cards. So, what we're going to do is try and combine them to make this layout. So, let's do that. So, here I'm going to Shift A on both of these. We're not going to have any spacing. And if I hit enter, we want the cards to be fill container because now you can see it's nice and fluid. And in terms of the height, let's say that we fix the height of these cards. So the height is currently 359. Let's say the fixed height. If we think of the eight point grid system, 96 times by three. Okay, so 96 times by four. There we go, I think that's a bit better. I'm not sure why these are not following the heights, but again, we can hit enter. So it is 384. So here we can enter and we can say 384. There we go. So here I'm going to shift A, get rid of the spacing. Again, we're starting out in very simple colors because that's what the concepts look like. And I'm going to hit enter and I want these to fill container. So again, these are nice and fluid, but they're not. So if I go into the cards, you want it to be fill container. So now they should be nice and fluid. So we might actually plan to build this in plain HTML and CSS. So please let me know in the comments if you like a video on this. 
So here again, we create some very simple cards and you can think of this as a row and another row. Okay, so this is for your developer experts out there. And now we can just combine these two. So shift A, there's no spacing. And if I hit enter, we want this to fill container. So now this is completely nice and fluid and we can even call this a div. So what we want to do next is combine them. And now the nice thing about that is we are just going to, for now, we're just going to keep these separate as a reference. So command D, bring it down. And now what we can do is just combine these two. So shift A, get rid of the spacing. And what we want to then do is we are going to just give this a fill of, let's say, white. And this one, we can fill container. So again, we're just going to move that. And this is currently fixed, so I think that's pretty nice. We are also going to think about having a header area here. So I'm just going to very quickly create one. So we could say header area, shift A, and we're also going to make that white. And the spacing all around, let's say 24, or let's say 40. Make this into component, but hit enter, and we say fill container. So here I'm going to come on OK, and we're going to call this header. So if I command that, we're going to shift and oops, this doesn't always work, by the way. So click on there and just shift and the right arrow key. I'm going to cut. OK, so in this div here, now this is where it gets a bit tricky. So we actually want to go and we just drag that out. Command and V. We want to combine these two. So shift and shift. Ooh, did I actually take the master? No. OK, that's good. So select the header area and this one. We do shift A get rid of the spacing and I want this to be fill container nice so you can imagine the header area here we could even think that we want we want the title to be in the middle but for now we'll just keep it there and this could be like a welcome or the hero uh, header and now I'm gonna cut I'm gonna bring this in so now we have our frame and now we have our other frame. So let me just test this out. If I was to do this, it's not fluid. So if I was to go here, we need that to fill container. Enter. We need them all to fill containers. And there we go, nice and fluid. So we're going to plan to do some more iterations on the design. So if you like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Let me know how you're getting on and I'll see you in the next video.